impossible to listen to it all, unfortunately. I was going to say, there must be some awful stuff as and well. You must have yeah, to get through I mean, some it, terrible yeah. music. I mean, I go through days where, you know, I've got to clear some space so I can actually walk around yeah. um, the the office in my house, you know, to try and get in and out. Yeah. And so I have a blitz where I'm kind of putting CDs on for, you know, 30 seconds and taking yeah. them off. And, and they go into two, you know, yeah, into the bin or into a pile of potential play. Yeah. Um, and as as you go go through that, you get harsher and harsher about what what, <laughs> yeah. what is of any merit at all. Yeah. And often to preserve my own interest in something, even though I can tell I like this, I like this a lot, um, I might not listen to it all the way through at that point because I'll kind of wait to savour that because I, I'll know I'm going to enjoy it yeah, when I, when yeah, I do. Yeah. So when you're not uh, doing s- such a cutthroat, a, yeah, a, a, a blitz through when you can have a, a different day where you're going right. Let's take this in and yeah, because really you want to walk away with two bin bags of stuff you've rejected. <laughs> so yeah. That yeah, yeah, then you can suddenly breathe. Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, uh, so I yeah, I do take that approach a bit. I mean, now it's interesting. I mean, I th- I think I'm sure there will come a point where there's a musical genre that is created that I think actually I don't I don't get that I'm not that into it, and hopefully. Um, no, I might be able to see some worth it in it, but I just feel I've always had to eat my words or eat my thoughts about so many things, you know, yeah. um, because you, there's always going to be something of value in it. Yeah. And even um, you, sometimes I've got into th- stuff through watching the reaction that other people have had to it in a yeah. way, especially as a DJ um, and you, you know, people request something Again. and so you kind of think, oh, okay, I will play it. Yeah. And then you see the reaction. I mean, I'm, I'm glad you've mentioned that because I, I found with, it, I didn't really get, dubstep properly until I started doing my own club night and then either one of the other DJs played something or I played something and it was like wow this mm. in this context I get it now this makes this makes so much sense to me and it yeah and, and getting to play things out kind of helps you appreciate a lot of different genres because the fact is if you're listening to it f- for the first time on your laptop speakers it's probably not the best context for for a to, uh, to judge a genre on yeah. or or anything like that. Yeah, yeah no, it's true. It's true. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I, mean, the, I love the, it. Do, um, the, the, you want this first time thing? People get fixated on this first time. I'm, thing. I'm not going to. I'm not going to fixate no, but, on it too because much. Because I, I can think more, of it. A couple of first but, plays. I mean, you mentioned a few. I mean, it's, I, I'm. Uh, pleased and uh, chuffed that um, those people you mentioned earlier on suggested that you contact me yeah. and, and try and see if I wanted to hear yeah. your music. So Kate Nash, Adele, Jack Peniarty, um I'm pretty sure I played all of them first on the radio. Yeah. Um, and they definitely all came in and played Live to Air as yeah. a first ever session yeah, thing, yeah, which yeah. is really exciting. Um, Jamie T is similar. Yeah, from the whole crowd. Um, and then, uh, you know, another one that... W- I remember getting the CD and, and playing it that night in a similar fashion as I did with Dana Sack versus Scroobius Pip, and that was with Razor Light, right. um, a, a band who uh, definitely over time um, set the cat amongst the pigeons and became quite a, a, a band that um, people either loved or loved. But I'd say they were a definitive XFM yeah. band as well yeah. for a long period. That was one of the... St- the sounds that you would associate well, with this station because they were w- w- one of that first round of indie bands that got so big in in the pop world that yeah. it was right like right now now xfm has set up as this alternative hidden away oh we need a rock station for our our tiny little area of music suddenly became right this is now a leading f- force in what is becoming the popular yeah yeah definitely i mean in that kind of post libertines world they stepped in and and got some proper hits you yeah. know, which was yeah, pretty yeah, yeah. big i mean that was an interesting one in that there was a package i opened the package there was a terrible photograph of a group of blokes in front of a garage yeah. um put yeah. that in the bin um <laughs> listened to the cd um which didn't even have the band's name spelt out it just had the letters r z l t oh, um and but the the songs were fantastic three songs all sounded brilliant yeah um and the letter was from a guy called roger morton who was managing them yeah now i knew the name because he used to write for melody maker and i didn't right. know him but i knew the name so yeah I, it, it made me think there. oh well you know he's he's involved in this that's interesting but i thought the song sounded fantastic and again i played it that night and it got an instant reaction yeah it's really interesting how you know often the stuff that really is a cut above gets Just an amazing gets reaction instant, and other stuff that you touch. might think yeah no i really love this <laughs> yeah. nobody gives a damn about it and no one reacts um, to how much of that do you have that you 
the, the that you persist with things that you just believe there's 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 the merit there despite they're not necessarily always be in that instant t- t- a reaction or texting or phoning or whatever yeah else. there's quite a lot <laughs> it seems to me there's quite a lot of that. um <laughs> i mean you know I, I really get into things and and play them and um kind of think yeah everybody's into this everybody loves this this is an exposure tune this is yeah, really great yeah. and i don't know whether that's always the case I mean, when i put them on and do a gig then uh, nobody turns up then i get a sense that she may be maybe maybe yeah. people don't like this as much as i do I but mean, they're wrong obviously l- yeah. uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, g- gigs then this piece of fiction is the intro to distraction this piece of fiction is the intro to distraction this piece of